Hi, y'all. Um, this is going to be the start of chapter 19, uh, which is uh, the beginning of our new material for test number three. So this is uh, kind of where test number three starts out. Uh, so uh, without uh, further ado, we'll go ahead and get rolling on that. Um, so our topic um, for, for the vast majority of test three is, is basically magnetism. Um, and we end up talking about some electromagnetic fields too. Chapter 19, though, explicitly is about magnetism. So um, this, in this chapter, we'll learn um, about magnetism, magnetic forces, and magnetic fields. All right, so um, first thing we'll talk about is magnets. Uh, this is review material for y'all. It's just that you may not have seen it or thought about it since like maybe fourth or fifth grade. Um, so if we've got a magnet, uh, we know that the magnet has north and south poles. And um, we uh, can basically make a diagram of the way the magnetic field around that magnet behaves. So our magnetic field always starts out on north poles. And you can kind of see the arrows pointing away from the north pole. It always starts out on north poles um, and always uh, goes towards south poles or ends on south poles. All right, so um, we've got uh, a couple pictures here. We've got a bar magnet, uh, which is on the left-hand side. Um, we've got a horseshoe magnet, which is on the right-hand side. So bar magnet there, and we, we can see the magnetic field lines that we would expect to, to see around that one. Uh, we've got a horseshoe magnet there, okay? And um, again, we can see the magnetic field lines. And uh, if we were to do a little experiment, um, we could um, sprinkle some, some iron filings around a bar magnet and get exactly the pattern that we would uh, we see there in that, in that middle image. Okay. There's additionally some, some YouTube links here. I'm not gonna try to do the inception thing of opening a YouTube link inside a YouTube video. Uh, maybe we'll do that later, but um, you guys can check those out for yourself if you want. But I, I think most of us are familiar with uh, yeah, at least this picture here of um, what magnetic films uh, look like as far as the patterns go. Yeah. All right, so um, the largest uh, magnet that um, we come in contact with every day is the Earth. And it turns out that the Earth has a magnetic field um, that's exactly the same as if we had just one great big bar magnet inside the Earth. Well, that's, that's a little bit of a, a generalization, but we'll, we'll, we'll say that though. There's, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But um, uh, for the purposes of this class, we can imagine um, that we've got just a great big bar magnet right there. And one of the things that's a little bit odd that you notice is that um, the South Pole of the Earth's magnetic field is actually on the north end of the Earth. Um, so if we think about the geographic North Pole, um, that's actually the Earth's magnetic South Pole. Um, and then we can see the, the pattern of the magnetic field lines that results out of this, um, uh, out, out of the Earth's uh, magnetic field, I guess. We can see the pattern of the field lines and, and they're drawn there. Um, so a consequence of the fact that the Earth's North geographic pole is where the South magnetic pole lies is that if you think about those little compasses that, that, that we can carry around, um, that compass needle in there is, is well, basically it's, it's a small magnet itself. Um, and the North pole of that needle will point towards the North Pole of the Earth. That's the geographic North Pole, which is the Earth's South Magnetic Pole. Okay, and it's something to think about a little bit. Um, also a little bit interesting is um, these, this, uh, uh, the Earth's poles flip every once in a while. So, um, you know, uh, it's, and it's, it's not on a regular periodic basis either. It could be 100,000 years between flips or 500,000 years or, or, or what have you. I invite you to, to look at that in more detail. You can do a, a 
a search on the internet real quickly and, and, and read up on that. Um, but also, um, some of you may be aware of uh, news articles in the last couple of years um, that's talked about how the Earth's poles have been kind of wandering, or wandering around at a faster rate um, than we, um, we have seen in a couple decades. Um, so that's, that's something that's kind of interesting that's, that's going on with um, um, the Earth's magnetic field right now. And no, I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so I've got a, a question for you guys here. Uh, so we've got our bar magnet. And what I want you guys to think about mm -hmm. is I want us to look at that point P right there. That's below the bar magnet. And I want you all to think about, well, what would the direction of the magnetic field be at that point? Um, it's, uh, you know, and that magnetic field is created by the fact that the, that bar magnet is, is, is right above it. So think about that bar magnet and um, the way that bar magnet, magnet's magnetic field is laid out and then figure out, um, you know, which direction that magnetic field is gonna point in. Okay, so uh, pause the video, think about it, and we'll see what the response is. Okay, um, so it turns out that um, choice one is the correct answer. So if we think about the direction of the magnetic field lines around this bar magnet, well, basically they're going around like this. They're starting out on the North Pole and headed towards the South Pole. And then if we can see, well, let's see, when we're right down there, right, right in the circle there, uh, what, what's the direction of the, uh, the magnetic field? Uh, well, it's, it's the same direction as this, uh, as this arrow one there, um, which is to the right. Um, I guess I could be a little bit more complete here and maybe draw some in up here and I could keep drawing lines as much as I wanted, uh, but we'll, we'll stop that for now. All right, um, the next video we'll talk about um, the actual force involved or the, the force that's created on a uh, charged particle uh, as a result of being exposed to a magnetic field.